yeah, I will, I will talk about that more in, uh, off the record. The violence that we just learned about this morning is just heinous. It is just brutal and it's against humanity. There is no better way to characterize this but uh, just an act of terrorism. <clears throat> and uh, it could be uh, partly because the Taliban are trying to earn further concessions in the negotiation table. So there's a tactical shift that they are really targeting centers of population. They might be thinking that they are demoralizing our security forces by attacking them, but we can assure you that that's not happening. As a citizen, for me, it becomes much harder to trust and continue uh, with a much more positive spirit if I feel continuously attacked. I think this is what is shared by our people. The Taliban issued a statement on Tuesday saying that the presidential election will be worthless and theatrical and vowed to sabotage the process through multiple attacks at campaign rallies, etc. This does not sound like a, a group that is interested in sitting down with the government. Uh, it's very unfortunate to hear that. Uh, what I can say is that it, uh, and what I heard from our people, it angers them and it even motivates them even more to go to the polls to say that we are going to continue, we are going to hold an election, and our security forces would do everything they can to secure our people. Uh, elections uh, is a system that our people have chosen. And as a government responsible to delivering the, uh, to the constitutional orders, we must hold election. <laughs> <laughs> 